Now that seems to be everything inside the box. The unboxing was amazing. The keyboard was very secured, well presented. All of the accessories that you will need as well will come with the keyboard. First impressions on the keyboard. The keyboard looks very Gravistar. I've tested their mouse before and it does fit very well. I mean, just look at this. Look at this. For me personally, I do like how it looks like. I do like the uniqueness of the Gravistar team over here. Very alien-y, out of space kind of thingy. Now I got the Gravistar Mercury K1 Pro over here, but they also have the Gravistar Mercury K1 non-pro version. Now I do not see any legs on that version. But yeah, the Pro one does have some legs over here. The Pro version, of course, is gonna be the higher model of the K1. And it does have some features that the normal non-Pro K1 doesn't have. But yeah, it's nice to have those two options. Now, this keyboard is also made out of aluminum. Very nice, very durable, high quality. I like it. Amazing. It will definitely make the keyboard sound more premium and better as well. Now the keycaps of this keyboard is also very high quality, I like it. These are double shot PBT keycaps, I have no problems with them. Now for the switches, this keyboard is hot swappable so you can go ahead and change it. Now for the switches over here, the Pro apparently comes in with the Gravastar X K linear switches. Disclaimer, the sample keyboard I have over here doesn't have the final speedy mint switches. So just take note of that, these are not the final switches for the K1 Pro. The final ones will be the speedy mint switches that I showed you earlier as the extra switches. Now here's a little sound test. Now you can also see the plate and the materials they used inside to make the keyboard sound better. But okay, let's actually go ahead and listen to the whole keyboard with the keycaps on, with the switches on, and see how good it will sound like. Now that sounds amazing bro. Did you hear that? They definitely put a lot of effort in making this keyboard sound good. Has a lot of layers, a gasket mount, even an aluminum case. 
of course the keyboard will sound amazing. Now other than the good sound and the good looks of this keyboard, this keyboard also has pretty good performance. The switches that this keyboard have has a 1.2mm actuation point which is a pretty good actuation point for mechanical switches. Now this keyboard also has triple connectivity so you can use the 2.4GHz dongle over here or you can also use it wired or with the Bluetooth 5.0. It also has a pretty large 8,000 milliampere battery over here, so that will definitely last you a pretty long time. For the polling rate of this keyboard, it comes in 1,000 hertz. Very, very nice. So yeah, let's go ahead and plug it in, test it out in game, check out its RGB and even this screen. Crazy and all of these different functions. Let's go ahead and plug it in and test them out. So I plug the little 2.4 GHz dongle over here into the computer. You can just go ahead and turn this on now and use it wirelessly. I'm going to go ahead and switch it to the wireless mode. Oh, there it is. Look at that. It's glowing and also the sides. And also the legs, very nice. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and check out the software and see more of its features. So you can download this software in their website. So let's go ahead and see here. First tab over here, you can go ahead and set the device info or see the device info I meant. Set the language, startup, auto run, exit. We also have tap over here. Now for the slip over here, you can go ahead and turn it off if you don't want your keyboard to sleep. We also have debounce over here. I'm pretty sure the lower this is, the faster the actuation of the keyboard will be also. But the debounce sometimes is applied after the first click so maybe it doesn't really add any delay but yeah having this at the lowest would be the best but if you experience any double clicking make sure you increase that and you can also do a factory reset over here very nice now next tab over here we can go ahead and change the functions of the keys as you can see we also have different layers tab as well over here now we can change the key functions but I don't think we can change the knob over here, which is talk to increasing the volume, decreasing the volume, and muting the volume. You can also set different profiles, export, import, delete. Very nice. Now, next over here, we do have the light effects. We do have a lot of light effects. You do have fixed on. Oh, I like that. I, I like this one. Ripples shining. That guy's going crazy over there. But yeah, if you want that, sure, rotating windmill. We also have off if you don't want any. Now, next over here, we also have different effects for the audio. So if you have a music playing in the background and you want your keyboard to follow it, you can go ahead and choose over here, turn it on. Now, lastly, we have the macro edit panel over here. So if you want some macros, record some stuff. Very, very nice. Very simple software. It was very easy to understand. But what I want to change though, is other than the light keys i want to change the colors of the side over here of the keyboard that's why it's very important to read the manual over here they call this the ambient light effects and you can change its effect its brightness and stuff like that so we do have fn plus right shift to change the effect okay now other than the blink it's now going it's it's like bouncing we do have the, the the go around with different colors, just cycling through different colors. I like this one. You can really see how good the colors of the RGB is are. Now this one is static. I do recommend this if you're going for a team. I wish you can change those settings in the software as well. Yeah, you will have to use the combination keys over here. Oh, another thing is the screen over here. If you've noticed, it, it's not really a screen actually. It's more like a logo with an LED behind it. That's why it's making, it's, it's it looks like a screen. So yeah, I think that's what it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, I, I also did not see any way to change it in the software. So yeah, I think it's just a little logo of Gravastar with a LED light at the back. So let's go ahead and do a little typing test.
Now I'm not the fastest typer but typing with it felt amazing and the sound is so good. If I, if I describe it, it's like it, it pops. It sounds very, very nice. But okay, enough with the typing test. Let's actually go ahead and try gaming with it. So after testing and playing with the Gravastar K1 Pro, here's my experience so far. The unboxing was very nice, very premium, down to the setting up the software, it was pretty smooth, everything went well. Again, you might miss it, you won't be able to set up at least at the moment the side lights, the ambient light on the side of the keyboard in the software, but you will be able to do it with the keys. But yeah. but yeah, other than that, typing with the keyboard also felt amazing. The feeling of the keys, the gasket mounts, typing with it felt so good and sounded so good. I love the experience. Felt very responsive, felt pretty good. I have no problems with the responsiveness and the gaming performance of this keyboard. I've also been loving the looks of the keyboard. As you can see, definitely sticks to the vibe of the Gravastar alien thing if you have a similar setup you're definitely gonna love this keyboard but even if you don't you just like cool tech cool stuff cool keyboard good sounding keyboards I'm sure you'll also like this keyboard anyways that'll be it for my review of the Gravastar K1 Pro really nice keyboard from Gravastar I'll go ahead and put this keyboard first link in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out you can also use my discount code MIGSS for some discount and by the way a little disclaimer this keyboard is sent to me by Gravastar but that won't change my review of the keyboard and my opinions everything you've been hearing is my honest review and opinion I pray and hope that this video helped you in some way don't forget to stay grateful guys and remember Jesus loves you bye bye